Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. Um, so ngayon, um, bibigay ko naman sa inyo mga details or travel requirements ng Davao, Palawan and Pagadian. So if you like this video, please watch this. Travel requirements to Davao updated as of August 2, 2021. The city of Davao requires guests to comply with the following travel requirements. For locally standard individuals or LSI and authorized persons outside residence or a pool. Negative RT-PCR swab test result or negative saliva RT-PCR test result from Philippine Red Cross only taken within 24 to 72 hours before arrival in Davao. Children who are 12 years old and below are exempted from these requirements. Registration to save QR. Please make sure to save a printed or the digital copy of the QR code. For returning over to Filipinos or ROF on regular commercial flights, registration to save QR. Please make sure to have a printed or digital copy of the QR code. POQ clearance, which is valid for 7 days from the date of issuance. The BOQ clearance or certificate must indicate the, that guest has completed 10 days of quarantine and the negative RT-PCR test result. For returning overseas Filipinos or ROF on special Benihan or repatriation flights, Registration to save QR. Please make sure to save a printed or digital copy of the QR code. Digital RT-PCR test result conducted within 48 hours before boarding. Non-OFWs must have a confirmed hotel booking for the required quarantine period for 14 days upon arrival. Please check. Uh, please coordinate with OWA. Upon arrival, make sure to register for the RT-PCR test to be conducted on the 7th day of quarantine. Expenses for OFWs will be shouldered by accredited agencies, where others' expenses are on guest account. For guests who have tested positive for COVID-19 and have completed the quarantine period, be occupants or municipal or city health office certificate of completion of quarantine provided that it is the original copy and that is and that it is duly notarized copy of RT-PCR test a notarized doctor certificate of good health and fit to travel and clinical summary if hospitalized effectivity of these documents shall be 14 days from the date of release from quarantine as indicated on the municipal or health office or city health office certificate. Otherwise, the guest will be required to take an RT-PCR test within 24 to 72 hours from arrival in Davao. Travel requirements to Puerto Princesa, Palawan Province. For the Holy Standard Individuals or LSI, Returning Residents, Indispensable Travelers, Returning Overseas Filipinos or ROF, this is the requirements. Negative RT-PCR swab test result from a DOH accredited facility or saliva test from Philippine Red Cross conducted within 72 hours before flight departure. Valid ID. Approve as pass application. Please make sure to coordinate with your destination's LGU to secure the requirements to get an approved as pass and valid passport for ROF only. For authorized persons outside residence or APUR, for government APUR, the requirements is valid ID issued by, the, by their respective government agency. Original or certified to copy of travel authority or travel order issued by the department secretary or his or her designated uh, official and endorsement letter. 
for other upward requirements um, negative RT-PCR swab test result or um, saliva test from Red Cross conducted within 72 hours before flight departure um, travel order or office order approved if pass application valid ID and endorsement letter from EOC for doctors who will render hospital duty in Palawan, the requirements is negative RT-PCR swab test result uh, or saliva test from Philippine Red Cross conducted within 72 hours before flight departure, valid ID, and S pass. Or acceptance acceptance or endorsement from the chief of hospital or approved SPAS application. Puerto Princesa City. Um, requirements for the local standard individuals or LSI returning residents and dispensable travelers. This is the requirements. Um, negative RTPCR swab test result. Uh, from a DOH accredited facility conducted within 48 hours before flight departure. Copy of proof of residence or barangay certificate signed by barangay captain and valid ID. For returning overseas Filipinos or ROF, requirements is a negative or TPCR swab test result from DOH accredited facility conducted within 48 hours before flight departure. Copy of proof of residence of barangay certificate signed by barangay captain, valid ID, valid passport, endorse, endorsement letter, and quarantine certificate from the Bureau of Quarantine or BOQ. For authorized person outside the residence or upward, this is the requirements. Valid ID issued by the respective government agency, mission or job order, proof of assignment or deployment, negative RT-PCR or swab test result from a DOH accredited facility conducted within 48 hours before departure, endorsement letter from emergency operation center, travel coordination permit or TCP from SPAS, Stay safe, PH QR code, vaccination card for a person staying for 3 days only, and return ticket for a person staying for 3 days only. All arriving guests in Puerto Princesa City will be required to undergo a facility quarantine for 7 days and a rapid antigen test on the 7th day of the guest expense, except for upwards staying in Puerto Princesa City for only 3 days and are fully vaccinated. Travel requirements to Pagadian For Pagadian City, all guest bound for Pagadian City are required to present a valid government issued ID with address in Pagadian City. Authorized persons outside residence or upward are also required to present a travel order together with their ID. For the province of Zamboanga del Sur, the requirements is approved travel coordination permit or TCP from SPAS and negative RT-PCR swab test valid for 5 days. Guests who are fully vaccinated may submit their LGU vaccination card and view of the RT-PCR test. An individual is considered to be fully vaccinated if it has been two weeks since the last required dose. Note that this requirements only applies for guests coming from Manila. So, guys, ito po ang mga sinadiksik natin mga requirements as of August 2021. Um, requirements may change from time to time without prior notice. So please contact 
your local government unit or LGU of your destination for the latest updates. Thank you for watching.